Hey, hey, listen. You sit here. You sit. Look, don't shake your head at me. You sit here and you listen to me. All right? Sorry about that, guys. Just having a, just having a little chat with my camera, aren't we? You know, for myself, and a lot of you included, I'm sure of it, when we were younger and wanted to go out to eat as a family, where would we go? That's right, a rundown Indian restaurant to eat the exact same type of food that we get at home makes perfect sense. Let's go out and let's be adventurous. Let's try the different cuisine of the world. South India, North India, East India, West India, all. All India. It's not like we went to the nice Indian restaurants, you know, with like the drapes and the mink carpet, Rajasthani servants walking around, you know, the ones that white people usually tend to run. But that's okay, because a lot of them were soulless anyway. We went to raw Indian restaurants, you know, real hole in the wall type of joints. Low budget spending on furniture type places. Hiring women in your own family to cook in the back type places. Pictures of half naked Bollywood stars right next to religious portraits type of places. Now the first thing with a lot of these places as soon as you walked in was that the restaurants wanted to make sure and let you know how often they did not properly clean the place. Sticky door handles, floors going chip chip, the tables were all riggedy, there was like a damp humid heat generating from like all sides. A Bollywood movie playing on a 13 inch screen hung up on a wall that literally no one was paying attention to. Like no one was watching that movie. I bet they had that same DVD loop for like the past 13 years and just Never took it out. One thing that really annoyed me was the music. Oh my god, the music. Every single restaurant had the exact same music. It's like all the restaurant managers got together and like planned this shit out. Okay everybody guys, thank you so much for coming out to the annual Indian restaurant and Indian restaurant owners committee meeting. Uh, today the topic of discussion will be the music. What kind of music we should be playing in the restaurants? Okay, and go! Maybe like something like Bhangra? Are you, what are you talking about? Yeah, this is a restaurant, bloody restaurant, not downtown. People are going to be doing down, down, Bhangra, Bhangra. And they're not going to eat the bloody food! That's, that's a bad okay, idea. Okay, yeah. Play bad idea. Hey, f*** you, man. He's right! How about like some country music? Who the hell is this guy? You know, maybe a little bit of Garth Brooks? What the hell are you talking, man? This is an Indian restaurant. Yeah, you know, maybe let's just, let's change it up a little bit. Let's experiment. Dude, what the f*** are you thinking, man? That's the dumbest shit I heard in my life. I, I'm sorry, I just... Get out! Get out! Okay. What the hell is this? I don't want to hear it. Oh my god, I'm a cow. I'm a cow. I don't want to hear that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't want to hear that. He's right! You know where he cannot go wrong? Bollywood's home. See, that's what I'm saying. That's creative, but not too creative. Or original at all. I love it. Yeah, you know, but the only problem is people listening to the song, then sometimes they hear a sad song, they're crying, right? Then they're gonna hear a happy song, they're gonna fall in love. Then maybe sometimes they're gonna wanna hear the music, get pumped up, beat up 10, 15 guys, Dishon, Dishon, Dishon. That's the only problem with the music, man. The lyrics, they're too distracting. Uh, excuse me, if I do may interrupt, please. I do have one uh, cousin brother who is a music producer. He just released this brand new CD where he plays a lot of popular Bollywood music and uh, he covers them on the electric piano and it's very, very romantic and very atmospheric. Okay, you have like a CD or anything like that? Oh yes, absolutely. Here you are. Yeah, okay. Let, let me see this. It's like all my Bollywood classics done like really bad, badly than they were before on piano. He's very talented. That's like so boring enough to make me want to continue to eat. Absolutely, absolutely. Oh my god, this is this is perfect. <laughs> this is amazing because it seems like you are going to fancy restaurant with a fancy tuxedo man guy playing piano. That's right. But like it's just that guy, dumb cousin playing on the basement in the piano with the CD. That's all it is, right? <laughs> My cousin brother. I love it. I, I personally love it. I, what do you guys think? I, everyone agree? I love it. Yeah, how many yeah, agree? Agree? Perfect. That's great. That will be so many sales for the CD. Oh, oh. sales? Well, yeah. I, you, you guys are going to buy it, no? I mean, I was just gonna take the CD and then like burn like 15, 10, 15 copies and hand it to everybody else. I'm not. We're not gonna buy the CD. <laughs> Right guy, like we're not gonna buy it. Yeah, so. yeah, but he spent so much time 
doing this. Oh yeah, no, that's nice. But I do. Yeah, okay. Everybody's gonna get the CD here today for free. <laughs> Okay, and then everybody playing the restaurant non-stop. All right, agree? Yeah, no problem. All right, yeah. good. Okay, next topic of discussion. Yeah, the bathroom stairs, they are not steep enough. Yes, yes. Now at this point, once you walked in and you were settled in, the waiter would come through eventually. Like, I never understood anything the waiter was saying because they were speaking so fast. Hello, sir. Hey, how you doing? Uh, welcome to Village of India Smosa and A1 Catering Factory of Smosa and Appliances and Video Store. How can I guys take your order please? So what are the specials that you guys have today? Yes, absolutely. One butter chicken, non chicken, edding chicken, butter chicken, raw chicken, 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 but it's not chicken, but 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 chicken, Okay, so maybe like in between the words, just add like a space or a break or like a comma, semicolon, just so I know what you're trying to but say. But chicken, but chicken, but chicken, but chicken. Then you go running off, skipping into the kitchen, and as soon as he opened up that kitchen door, that's when he saw the site. Get a quick glimpse of the kitchen and all the chefs. Bibian, like 14 of them. Sitting on milk crates, mixing huge pots of dal, talking shit about each other's granddaughters, like this was the longer haul. Now at this point, you started noticing uh, the different types of people that were also in the restaurant at the exact same time you were. A group of uncles um, having like a business meeting. Pounds and pounds of food on their plates, just dripping everywhere down their face, their hands, um, and licking it away. No problem, just just going ahead and just really getting in there. A family with like the kid running around doing dumbass shit like falling down the really steep steps that go to the bathroom, which was so clean by the way, the utmost quality. You'd find the randomest treasures just sprinkled throughout the bathroom. You know, things that you would never expect to be in a bathroom were most likely in that bathroom. And then there was like this newlywed couple always at the restaurant. You know, the wife had like henna all over her arms that hadn't even like, that shit was still like green. It didn't even turn orange yet. That's how fresh it was. She avoided eye contact with her husband. So then at one point your food comes out. Here, here you go, Arsene. You are, this is your order, please. Just like any other restaurant, sometimes the order gets mixed up. And that happens, that's okay. But, unlike any other restaurant, there's no point in trying to convince or argue with the waiter or the manager that the order was wrong. Excuse me, I think you brought me the wrong order. No, that is absolutely the order you had placed. No, I definitely, it's the wrong order for sure. Yes, no, that is the order that you had placed. Yeah, no, I ordered the uh, chicken tikka masala and you just brought me like three different types of dolls, so. No, 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 you did not say chicken. I asked you about the chicken, but you said you wanted all, everything you want on it is dal. No, I for sure said that I wanted a chicken tikka masala plate. Maybe you are ordering off the wrong menu. No, I, I didn't order off the wrong menu, actually. You took my order? That's fine, that's a no problem. I can, uh, maybe we can, you can eat it and then pay me and that's okay. Okay, can I speak to the manager? Give me one second, please. Let me, let me go get it, please. And cashier is up there, okay? Fairly sure that they've never heard of the customer's always right policy. Yeah, somebody said I want to speak to the manager here. Hi, how you doing? What, what's the problem? Uh, okay, so I ordered the chicken tikka masala plate, but I got just a bunch of dal instead. You don't like, you don't like the food? Dal, dal's cool now, but I get it at home like all the time. I just wanted something different. You know what? This dal is the best dal you're gonna get outside of the house, outside of any other restaurant, outside the Lunker Hall. This is the best dal you're gonna get. So you gonna. Eat that dog because I need myself. I don't know what I'm gonna do with a bunch of dogs. I don't appreciate compliments. I don't appreciate any sorts of compliments. Yeah, and maybe you are ordering off the wrong menu. No, I didn't order off the wrong menu. But chicken, non chicken, veggie 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 chicken, If he wasn't speaking so fast, maybe. No, that's not my fault. I'm going to order some big list. You have minimum time. Have you heard the term customers always, right? Okay, no, wait, hold on. Is this your restaurant? Yeah, no, I, I get Did it. Did you make this food? No, I understand. What? No, I get the restaurant's yours. So why don't you, okay, why don't you shut the hell your mouth off and enjoy my food that I made for you with all my blood, all my sweat, all my tears. That's why it's gonna enjoy the extra flavor of salt and slime. Okay, I'll just, I'll just eat this then. Good, thank you. And Vire, I hope you enjoyed your food. I hope everything was necessary up to your proportions. And I hate you, please die. Never come back to my restaurant again, but enjoy your dal finishing. Thank you.
And then when it came time to paying the bill, we all know how this shit went down. <laughs> All of a sudden, the whole restaurant turned into a Tarantino movie set. Thank you. Okay. 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 Okay